after a seven-year wait and a 2022 playoff run that has already been spectacular in every sense of the word, the New York Rangers are back in the Eastern Conference Final, and they're facing off against the same foe as they did in 2015, the now two-time defending champion, Tampa Bay Lightning. Tonight was game one of the series at Madison Square Garden, and it did not take long at all for New York to make their mark. Just 71 seconds in, Chris Kreider scored on a wrist shot to make it one nothing Blue Shirts, assist courtesy of Mika Zavetajet and Frank Petrano. However, since the ice was wide open early on, the Bolts were able to put together some nice time in the Ozone that ended with a goal to make it one to one. Captain Steven Samkos did the job. After the game, Artemi Panarin spoke about how the action was a bit different from any of the games against Carolina and how that called for a different plan of attack. Не всегда получается, во-первых, немножко отличается игра в обороне у них. Каролина играет немножко ближе к игрокам. Там, по мне кажется, просто больше съезжается на пятак, поплотнее играют. Может быть, поэтому была разница, или мы просто у нас побольше получалось сегодня. The second period was a turning point. The Rangers began to take advantage of the room Tampa gave them and accrue a good amount of time with the puck. At the 750 mark of the frame, Frank Vetrano shot one right past Andre Vasilevsky to give New York a lead. Remember, though, the Lightning are the defending champs for a reason. They don't go down without a fight. Less than a minute after the Vetrano score, Andre Palat added his two cents with a goal of his own. With the game tied 2-2, the rest of the second frame was an example of the beloved kid line at work, with Philip Heedle coming up big. Heedle cashed in not one, but two goals at the 10.09 and 15.43 marks, respectively, with assists coming from Kako and Lafreniere on the first one and Lafreniere and Miller on the capper. When asked if he was playing his best hockey now, Heedle reflected on his struggles from earlier this year and made it clear that he's happy to be contributing. I was working hard for the whole season. Uh, there was tough moments, tough, uh, so many chances what I can couldn't put it to the net. Maybe that hockey was, wasn't that bad, but when you're not putting puck to the net, like uh, you're not helping the team that much and uh, maybe start a little be frustrated, but now that's finally, uh, Going in, uh, yeah, I'm so happy that I can, I can help the team like this and, and win the games. The final 20 minutes gave Rangers fans a chance to exhale. At the 32nd mark, Artemi Panarin netted a goal towards the left side of the net. And at the 606 mark, Mika Zavetajed scored his eighth goal of the playoffs on a power play chance. That would be all New York would need making tonight's final. The New York Rangers 6, the Tampa Bay Lightning 2. The New York Rangers are now just three wins away from reaching the Stanley Cup final. Game two of the series will be 8 p.m. this Friday at Madison Square Garden. With WFUV Sports, I'm Colin Lochran.